Hi, y'all. Craig and Latte here. It's that time again where I bring you my tips, facts, or experience that you may or may not find helpful. Frog mounts are adorable, right? Well, how about one from Ardenwield? With leaves on it? Even better! There's a bit of a trick to getting the arboreal gulper, so let's look at what to do. Now, this mount actually has a 100% drop rate, so woohoo! No RNG involved here then, right? Wrong! You actually need an item to spawn the rare that drops it. The item is the unusually large mushroom, which has a low drop rate from any mob in Ardenwield. I've seen the item drop from various kinds of mobs, so it really does come from anywhere in the zone. What makes this interesting, though, is the item actually has a 20 minute timer on it before it expires. Even if you're questing here at a low level and find this item drop into your bag, you need to hightail it over to the spawn area quick. Head to waypoint 3230 and plant this mushroom into the damp loam, which the loam takes about 10 minutes to spawn if it's not already there, so you can see why the 20 minute timer might be an issue. The rare you're spawning with this is Humungas, a big mean old mushroom man with a lot of health. You kill him and you get the mount. The best part is you don't even have to be 60 to get it either, which is pretty neat. So you can do this while you're leveling there if you happen to get the mushroom. The even better thing on top of all of that is if you don't want to spawn him yourself or you just find you're not lucky with drops, you can join a group and have someone else spawn him. You don't need to get the mushroom item to loot this rare and then get the mount, just to spawn him. The mushroom itself is tradable too in case you wanted to spawn him yourself. And that's pretty much all there is to it. The hard part is just farming the unusually large mushroom item if you choose to do it yourself. Once you've done that, congrats on your cute new froggy! I named mine Slappy. If you've quested in the Shadowlands, you've likely run across these bright blue rift monsters from beyond the realms who keep eating everything. You want to ride one, right? Of course you do! Surely nothing bad will come of this. Here's how to get the Loyal Gorger mount. First, and the hardest part, is you'll need to farm the rare World Edge Gorger in Revendreth to get an item. It spawns at Way 3873 at the edge of the river in the Banewood. He's an 62 elite who does some pretty solid damage, so you'll want to group until it's later in the expansion. He doesn't have a spawn timer, but rather has to be spawned with an item, the Enticing Anima, which you can farm from the mites around the river. Use this at the two brazers and he'll pop up. Then just kill him. Now you need to loot an item, the Impressionable Gorger spawn, from him. This item is definitely not 100%, so it may take you a while to get it. Once you see you've looted it though, that will let you start the dailies for this mount. That's right, dailies. Now don't panic if you don't see this item in your bags like I did. It isn't a physical item. You'll see an emote about something running off to the Enmire, which is now exactly where you need to go. Now this is the easy part. Somewhat. Going to the Enmire, you'll see a little gorger pop up with a quest. He'll want you to feed him things that you'll loot around the mire. The daily itself is fairly simple, as that's all there is to it, and he'll want different things each day. But this area is swarming with mobs, so don't do what I do and just run through everything. You'll regret it. You'll need to do this daily for seven days, and the loyal gorger is yours to ride. Look how happy he is. I'm sure he's totally safe to take into your covenant, right? Shadowlands has certainly brought a plethora of new and unique mounts, including some wicked creepy crawlers. Let's take a look at how to get the Spine Mog Laid Chewer. This one's pretty simple in terms of concept, but you will need a fair amount of patience and maybe some friends. You should certainly be level 60 for this as well, or it's really gonna be a pain if you aren't. Be prepared for a lot of combat. Head to the maze-like area next to Tirna Scythe in Ardenwield at about Way 2752 and kill all the enemy mobs you see in the area. Just the hostile ones, not the neutral yellows. You'll be killing these mobs until you can force spawn Chompy, who Gorm Tamer Tizo rides. You'll know when you've spawned him as Tizo will shout an emote so you can rush over to kill him. Tizo is the one that will drop this mount for you and he's not too hard to kill. The mount is actually a 100% drop, so that's good. What makes this challenging though is the mobs you need to kill in the area to spawn him really hurt this early in expansion, which is why you might want some friends. The riders especially do some damage. 
The other pain is the time it takes to spawn him will vary greatly. I've heard some get it in 10 minutes, others it took two hours. For my friend and I, we did it in about one hour. So be prepared to do some grinding. That's pretty much it though. It's really simple, you just have to be patient. And once you've killed Tizo and looted your mount, congratulations on your new wriggly bug. He's so squishy and wiggly, I love him. With Shadowlands in full swing, access to the huge array of beautiful new mounts has been unleashed. To kick off this new season of collectibles, why not start with something really easy and very unique? The Wild Seed Cradle Mount. This pretty thing can be obtained by anyone who's begun questing in Ardenwield in a matter of minutes, if you know where to look. You don't even have to be level 60. There are five items that you need to collect, combine, and then turn in to gain access to a treasure containing this mount. No chances involved, it's 100% guaranteed. Here are the waypoints on screen for you. All five items are interactable tools found around the Garden of the Night, just west of the heart of the forest. All of them are very small items and a little hard to see, so here's a real-time look at each one. Here's the Gardener's Flute at 3858. Here's the Gardener's Wand at 3860. Here's the Diary of the Night at 3957. Here's the Gardener's Hammer at 3954. Here's the Gardener's Basket at 4052. Once you have all five items, combine them into the gardening toolkit and then head back to Tirnaval. You're looking for a fay there named Twinkle Star. She'll tell you how she lost her tools and then you can turn them all into her. Won't she be surprised at your psychic knowledge? After that, she'll cast a buff on you that'll let you see and loot the big orb that spawns behind her. Inside that is your glorious new mount. And there we go! Now you can feel like a special little wild seed nestled in your cradle. Pretty simple, wasn't it? Today we'll look at how to get the Shimmer Mist Runner, aka the Maze Unicorn. It's a whole lot easier than you think. You can do this in just less than 10 minutes. First, head over to Ardenwild near Tirna Scythe and read the note at 3253. Some folks have said that you don't need to read this, but I've also heard that if you don't, the boss will despawn at the end, so just read it to be safe. Now you can begin the maze. Go in at 3154, not far from where the note is. Now take this slow and don't go the wrong way, or you'll have to start over. Take the first left at 2956. There are bounding shrooms around that can give you a sort of stealth so the mobs don't attack you. Grab those if you feel you need it. Just be warned that these will launch you into the air. Now you're going to take a sharp right at 2957. Now we're going to take an immediate left at 2958. Now we're going for an immediate right also at 2958. These are really close together, so pay close attention. Now we're going to continue straight through 2858. Once you turn, there'll be a fork. You'll want the one on the slight left at 2758. This is when the waypoints really come in handy. Once you go through that last entry, you'll come into a small clearing. There you'll see the boss and your mount. If the boss doesn't despawn, you know you did this correctly. If he does, you'll have to go all the way back out, read the note again, and start over. Just show this jerk who's the real boss of the game, and then you can get your mount. And that's that! Pretty simple, right? That's exactly how you get the Shimmer Mist Runner. Remember poor old Blanche in Westfall? Apparently she committed sins so bad she wound up in Revendreth has a mount. She's red and ghosty and all around edgy, so let's look at how to get her. First thing you should know is that to get this mount, you'll need to do a daily for six days in order to get it. 
there are six different items you need to bring Blanche each day to complete it. We're technically caring for the poor soul. She spawns here at way 6343 and runs up and down the river area there until someone finds her. Here's the kicker though. She's only up for five minutes when she's found. She has a one to two hour spawn timer as well, so be prepared to camp or find some groups. Before you even do that though, I highly recommend you go get all the items you need for her first. You can get everything in advance for the entire six days, and you'll need it since she's not up long enough for you to retrieve them. It only took me about 30 minutes to gather everything, so here's what you need and where to get them. Day 1. Eight handfuls of oats. These are found actually at Saladin's farm in Westfall, and are the only items outside of the Shadowlands that you'll need. They're a little hard to see, but check around the buildings and haystacks for little bags until you get all eight. Day two is a grooming brush. You can get one from Snickersnee in Darkhaven at Way 6361. It doesn't cost you anything and you can just borrow it from him. He doesn't seem to mind. Day three, four sturdy horseshoes. These are clickable items that you'll find around the roads of Darkhaven. Here's the waypoints for them on screen. They're all fairly close together, and if you don't want to run all over, you can just loot one and wait. They seem to respawn after a few minutes. You only need four, though. Day four. You'll need to give her a bucket of clean water. Remember where Snickersnee was? There's an empty bucket just near him at 6361, and you'll need to fill this with water from either Bastion or Ardenweald. Any water, it looks like. I went to Glitterfall Basin and Ardenweald and dunked it in the river there. That seemed to work just fine. Now your bucket is ready to be used later. Day five, one comfortable saddle blanket. Not to be confused with Comfortable Rider's Barding, this is an item from Tatru at Way 5178. This vendor is a broker who seems to carry the same items, but what you need to pay for those items varies. What I had to use here, 30 Shadowy Shank, will not be the same for you. These prices change weekly, so you may have to check and what he needs for them, and then go buy what you need if you don't already have it on hand. And day six, the final day, you'll need three Dread Hollow Apples. These are from Mims, a dredge vendor at 4046. The easiest way to get to him is to fly to the Charred Ramparts flight point, assuming you've made it that far in Revendreth's questline, and then you can just walk past the big fella here and go right to Mims. Otherwise, you'll have to venture all through the city, and there are a lot of mean elites in there. There! You've got all your items! Now that you have what you need, you can start your daily care for Blanche. She spawns here at Way 6343 in the Endmire every one to two hours. Once she's up, she's only there for five minutes, so you'd best be quick. After day six, you'll get your sweet new mount! Blanche can have a real home with you now. You'll take good care of her now, right? Who knows what she'll do to you if you make her angry? Now that BFA is nearly over, why don't we take a look at something that I'd totally forgotten about until now. The Najatar Blood Serpent Mount. When this came out earlier in the expansion, you needed a group of 20 or so in order to get it. But guess what? Now you can get it solo! So let's go over how to get this thing. First order of business, you need 20 Abyssal Fragments. These drop from a huge variety of sources in Battle for Azeroth zones, from Naga to Faceless to Pirates, and they're quite rare. Luckily, if you don't want to farm for them, you can just buy them on the auction house. The Wowhead link to these is in the description in case you need to see the drop sources. With the 20 Abyssal Fragments in hand, head up to this location in Stormsong Valley. The waypoint is on screen for you. Just duck in behind the waterfall and use these shards at the altar there to combine them into the abhorrent essence of the abyss. With those now combined into one piece, head over to the saltstone mine not far from you at these coordinates. The abyssal icon you need to use this item at is stuffed down on the westmost corner. Now, this is when you use this item, and be prepared to fight. While this NPC isn't that hard anymore, he wasn't a pushover either, so don't take him lightly. I've read that if you die, he'll remain there and you can try again, but let's try not to take that chance. Once he's down, loot him and enjoy your snazzy new mount. Each person who wants this does have to summon him themselves, as the mount did not go to my bestie who was there with me. 
She had to summon him too to loot it. And that's it. Pretty simple now that we've waited a bit, right? Getting a group was a pain for this mount at the beginning, so I'm glad I ended up forgetting about it until now. Did you know that you can farm for the Ink Scale Deep Seeker mount without doing Najatar PvP events? <gasps> Surprise! The Ink Scale Deep Seeker, try saying that 10 times fast, is one of the seahorse mounts added back in BFA, but this one requires a special currency found only in Najatar called the Najatar Battle Commendations. You can't buy this with mana pearls. These are unique enough that they stack in your bags and not actually in your currency tab, so you'll have to keep an eye on them. As far as I can tell, they aren't used for much and aren't used for anything else other than what one of the PvP vendors here in Najatar sells, which looks to be a mount, a pet, and two toys. That's, that's it. Which, this can be kind of a good thing, you don't need a lot of this currency. That same PvP vendor also seems to sell the profession recipes for PvP gear from that patch and expansion, such as, you know, recipes for the armor and all that stuff, but those still cost marks of honor as usual. You don't need the special commendations, so again, looks like you won't need many of them. But of course, I said you don't need to do the PvP events to get this currency, and those events rarely trigger, by the way. So how do you even get the commendations? Surprisingly, it's really easy. Rares! Yep, <laughs> you just kill rares. Of course, there is a stipulation, and that stipulation here is to turn on a war mode before you head to Najatar as the rares will only drop the commendations with it on. The good news though is that any and all rares in Najatar will give you a commendation when killed. I've been farming these for a while now and have not yet found a rare that didn't give me one when I looted it, so this actually will be much easier and faster than you think. As long as you're level 60, you shouldn't have any problems killing the rares in Najatar, so you don't have to worry about this being hard, because, well, this is old content now. It's meant for level 50 players. Oh, and if you're there for long enough, you may actually get lucky and see a supply drop. You know, when the planes and stuff will fly over and drop chests and things. If you can loot it before the other faction does, these chests will give commendations too. Usually one or two, pretty much like the rares, but hey, that's a little extra boost, right? And if you happen to be there when a PvP event does go off, that means the opposite faction is in the area. They may or may not actually be trying to do the event, and it just happened because you were both there at the same time. For me, it almost never comes up, but should it come up, you might want to do it. It's not too hard to do solo, at least as far as filling the bar. And if you do fill the bar successfully, which you can do by killing the mobs that will show up around the flags on your map, then you will get eight commendations. But again, that event is rare, has to have both factions in the zone on war mode to show up. I've only seen it like twice <laughs> since I've been there recently farming for these, so don't count on doing this. I'd stick to the rares, honestly. And yes, I'd stick to the rares because there are a lot of rares in Najatar. And now that this isn't current content, it's a lot easier to find them because it's highly likely there aren't a lot of people around. I play on Moonguard, for example, which is a very, 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 very full server. But on war mode, I maybe see one other person here. Maybe. And you only need 150 commendations for the ink scale, and the toys and pet is are also really cheap, so you're not gonna need much. You this won't take you too long. So that's it. TLDR, turn on war mode, kill rares. Ta-da! <laughs> Happy hunting! Here, welcome to this week's guide on a mount, specifically the Crimson Tide Stallion, which is this gorgeous, gorgeous creature here. We're going to look at exactly how to get this because it's not exactly straightforward. There are various guides on how to get it and some of them can be kind of confusing if you're just trying to read it. So here is going to be a visual walkthrough 
of how to get this little thing. So, first things first, to before you can do any of this, you're going to need an item called the Ajari Storm Surger Cape. Specifically, if you look at the equip ability, it says you have access to the Murloc Trader's special stocks. You will need this to do everything. <laughs> you cannot get them out without that. And how you can get that is the easiest way, at least, is by buying a benthic cloak fr uh, from the vendor here in Najatar with pearls. It's only five pearls each, but of course it's a random chance as to what cloak you'll get. Um, it only took me like three tries. It, it didn't take me very long. So hopefully you have decent luck. So that's step one. Now once you have the cloak, put it on. Now you have access to the special stocks. And you're going to want to talk to Merle here. Now if you don't see Merle, you need to progress further in the Najatar quest chain. You will eventually run into the quest chain somewhere in here. I believe, I don't remember exactly where, but you will run into the quest chain to bring this guy back safely. It's very early on in the quests for Najatar, so it won't take you very long. But anyways, once you have brought the Murlocs here after their little quest chain, they will be here permanently. Now, once you have the cloak and you have Merle here and all of these other mer little Murlocs running around, you can talk to Merle and... You can see here, I am looking at the Crimson Tide Stallion. Now this item here is the rare item. If you take it off, you can see that disappears. You literally have to have the cloak on to see it. And what's more, this Tide Stallion is only up once or twice a month from what I've been reading. So you have to be checking every day if you want this. Now with all that, and if it's finally up, there's another thing you have to do, and I'm going to cut here because you need to get Hungry Harold's Tentacle Taco. Okay, so here's how to get the Tentacle Taco. So in this spot here, as I'm showing you on the map, this is where a little cave is that you're going to find the Murloc you need. And he's not always up, so hopefully he is. If you see the two aggressors in here, and there's a Murloc in that cage right there in front of me to my side, that means it is available for you. So once you kill those Naga, as you can see, there are more coming. And you simply need to do the little mini event here and kill all the Naga that come at you until you can free him. So let's kill all these Naga. If you are level 60, it's, this isn't very hard. Um, I think I did this also when it was current on a different account. Back when, well, you know, this was current, and I don't recall it being difficult then either, so. Yep, so kill the warmonger here, and bam, cage is open! Alright, there's the Merlaco, and now, see, there's no taco in his list, but remember I mentioned you need the cloak. So put on your cloak, and now you can see, you will be able to see his special stocks. So once your cloak is on, talk to him, and there's the taco. It pops up, and it creepily needs a 666 gold. So I guess it looks like there's going to be a few thousand gold. Uh, I mean, a couple thousand to drop into this mount, but honestly, that's not much, so. And we're back to the vendor. So once you have the new tentacle taco item, which is just a... Fabulous name. You've got Merle, you've got your cloak, and it is the lucky day of the Crimson Tide Stallion. Now we're at the part that's even more convoluted. You see, we need four cultist pinky fingers, two pulsating bloodstones, and Hungry Harold's a tentacle at taco. Delicious. Um, yeah, so how do we get those other two items? It's a trading game. You may or may not have played any of these sort of games before where it's like you trade up. So to get the cultist pinky finger times four, we're going to start with that. So first we need to find Hurl Girl. <laughs> so here's Merle. Let's see here. Where's there's Gurmlurg? Maybe it's the running one. Nope, here's Hurl Girl. That one's Murgler. So Hurl Girl. 
And we need to buy 128 sweet sea vegetables. So, obviously, uh, I don't have enough gold. So, I'm going to pop out a guild bank because I have a personal guild bank. And grab a bunch of gold real quick so that I can... We'll just grab 20k. It's definitely not going to cost that much, but you will probably need several hundred. So, we need 128 of these sweet sea vegetables. So there's 128 of those. Now we need to go talk to Fleur Girl. Let's see, that's Murgler. Fleur Girl, he's the one in the water over here. Alright, dude. And from this guy, we need 32 just regular butters. Alright. So we got our butters now. Let's see, I'll move these out of the way so it's a little clearer. Alright, and now we need to go find Merlgler. That's the guy running around. Come here, you. Oh, come here, you! Hopefully he stops. Yep, there we go. Alright. Now we need 16 smelly pile of gloop. Yummy! Alright, so we got our 16 gloop. Fantastic. And now we need 28 ghost food, because you need two different things to buy the cultist pinky finger. Yeah, it's a big ol' long, you know, trade-up game. So if you just follow this as I'm going along here, you won't go wrong unless I screw up. <laughs> Hopefully I don't. So we need ghost food now. So we need to talk to Murgler, which is this guy again. And we need to buy... Oh, hold on, dude. There we go. So we need Slimy Naga Eyeball. And we need 504. Alright. So 504 of those. And now we need Gurmlerg, which is this one over here. It looks like there's just the four Murlocs, so they're not too hard to identify. And from this one, we need 168 Curious Murloc Horn. Alright. 68 of those. And now we need to talk with Fleur, Glur, Fleur, Fleur, Fleur Girl, which is this one back over here. And then we can buy the 28 ghost food. Yep, there they are, 28. Sweet. Okay, so we have our smelly pile of goops and our ghost foods. So we need to go talk to Hurl Girl, which is... I think it was that was the one over here. Yep. And then we can buy our four cultist pinky fingers. Look at that! There we go. Alright, so purple item one obtained. Excellent. That wasn't too bad. And now we need to get pulsating bloodstone. Oh, and as a quick tip, if I'm sure you noticed, and all this stuff, its duration is only a day. So these vendors... This stuff, from what I've seen, is always here, but you can't buy them in advance. You can't do this in advance. Do it on the day that the Crimson Tide Stellany is here, or you will lose all your items. So, yeah. Alright, so we need the Pulsating Bloodstones. So to get that, let's get the Sea Giant Foot Dust first. Which is from Fleur Girl, uh, which is this one over in the water. Hello, good sir, and or ma'am. Hard to tell with murlocs. <laughs> Alright, so we need unidentified mass 288 specifically. Yummy. And then we need to talk to Hurl Girl, which is the one here at the back again. Hello. And from this, we need 48 dirty murloc sock. Yummy. Now with these, we need to clean them. So we need to take them into some water. Um, and at least as alliance, the closest pool's over here that's you have to be swimming for. So you just jump in some water and spam click these real quick. Because I am an efficient... <laughs> I am an efficient sock cleaner. Clean, 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 clean. There we go. Forty-eight clean Murloc socks. All right. Now with the socks, we're going to go find 
Germlerg, which was this one, I believe. Yep. And trade the socks for... We are going to trade the socks for... Where'd my list go? Here we go. Sea Giant Foot Dust times 16. That's absolutely disgusting. Ew. All right. <laughs> so we got that blue item and now we need Healthy Murloc Lunch, the next blue item, which we need to talk to Merlger again. Come here. And we need more, we need more Slimy Naga Eyeballs. Now, you know, you could buy these, like, all at once. We needed 210 of those this time. Um, but I like to do them per item. That way I keep my numbers in check. So if you want to add up mathematically and buy everything at once, you know, at the end here, go for it. I'm not going to bother because I'll just get confused. So I'm not going to confuse you. <laughs> so now with our 210 Slimy Naga Eyeball, let's go to Gurmlurg. And we need... More curious Murloc horns. We need 70 of them. Okay. So that's all of those. And then we need to take those and go talk to Hurl Girl, which is this one here. And from Hurl Girl, now we buy the healthy Murloc lunch, which is probably disgusting because that icon is gross. And we need 14 of those. Now we have the blue items we need to buy the last purple items, which is two bloodstones. Excellent. And with that, since I already have my tentacle taco, I have the four cultist pinky fingers, the two bloodstones, and the taco. I can buy them out. Bam! And you get the achievement two. Awesome. Let's ride that puppy. Yes. Ah, right. I can't mount it yet. <laughs> it is technically an underwater mount. Um, and I believe on one of the vendors here. Here it is. Here it is. Here it is. Here it is. Budding deep coral. As you couldn't tell, uh, that was on the fly. This one. This is the item that lets you ride your underwater mounts while in Najatar. I wish it was everywhere out you know, everywhere. Not just in Najatar. There we go. Now you can ride your Najatar, your underwater mounts while in Najatar, and you got this one. And as you saw, I had an achievement too. And the reason that's important is because you need this for the Najatar meta undersea usurper that gets you the Of the Deeps title and the Snapback Scuddler crab mount the which is to as of now the only crab mount in game I, I mean i'm you know official crab i'm sure they'll add more maybe someday but anyways that is how you get the crimson stites talon yay isn't it cute i love it so enjoy hi y'all crack and latte here welcome to the promised walkthrough of getting the Hearthstone Mercenary Mode walkthrough. Said that twice. Screwed up that intro. <laughs> <laughs> this is a little I off. I didn't do it. Yeah, I've got Gilded Canary with me here. We're going to walk through it together. All we have to do, I'm told, is the prologue and start a bounty and we get our delightful mouse mount in World of Warcraft, which is what we're going to do. So, without further ado, we're going to get right into it. Whoops, if that can stop. Moving around, my bad. All right, so Hearthstone Mercenaries, new game mode now available. Click, neat. All right, so let's hit that Mercenaries new button. Build and level up a team of mercenaries as you Ooh, it's battle talking. for bounties and glory. Cool. Nice. So we do battle with cards. So that's okay. So it it, it looks like it does still include that. The way they worded it in the thing made it sound like it wasn't, but I wasn't sure, so I'm like, oh, it's Hearthstone, of course it's gonna be yeah. with cards. Looks like it's a progression system. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Mercenaries okay. who aren't afraid to get their hands dirty. dirty. This okay. This is your chance to impress me. Let's see what you can do. Okay. So, we gotta fight this giant rat? Sure. 
That seems neat. But yes, from my understanding, all we need to do is the prologue. We don't have to do any crazy PvP. There's no insane achievements. Oh boy, and <laughs> we're gonna see some... Oh, it's... Okay, it's telling me what to do. Select the smirk. Got it. Preparability. Got it. Uh, let's attack that one. And... Okay. Okay. Uh, let's do that one too. And then we hit ready. Good, it's walking me through how to fight all this again because I almost I never... I like that. Same, because I like never play this. Mercs use the repaired abilities automatically in combat. Destroy all the enemies to win. That's pretty simple. Combat. Slap. Slap. Hayaka. Ow. Neat. Attack abilities do physical combat with the enemy. Be careful as you'll take return damage in the process. Oh, okay, that's kind of neat. Uh, other abilities can be used safely from range. So melee hurts you? Interesting. I mean, it does kind of make sense, realistically. Yeah. They're gonna swing back and swing at them. Yeah. I get it. Logic in my card game? What is this? <laughs> Breaking the lore. Ugh. <laughs> Explode! <laughs> there goes that rat. Nice! Victory! Huzzah! Huzzah! Play one game in any mode. I got it. <laughs> Yay! A thingy. Cool. Arcane Salvo. Okay. I got a new ability. Neat. Yay! Cool. <gasps> Not bad. You know that candle. Stay focused. Ooh! You've got company. I got my- <laughs> we're gonna fight a kobold here. The ones I always call yeah. rat people because I can't stick and remember what they're called! <laughs> yeah, it's a thing. We're gonna go fight those, um, those, um, um, the rat people. The yeah. rat people, you know. <laughs> the candle rats. <laughs> you know take candle! <laughs> exactly. Uh, let's see. Combat resolves based on speed order. Lower speed abilities go first. Speed ties are random. Lower speed hmm. abilities go first? Huh. I that seems... <clears throat> okay. Well, let's take out this chicky first. Ooh. Let's do that. Yeah. Right. Oh, that's okay. an AoE attack. Yeah. Oh, that's rad. I like it. Okay, so lower speed goes first. I see. Okay. All right. Let's do that again. That was neat. Yeah. That was kind of cool. Snap. Get it. Ha ha. Okay. Goodbye, rat Goodbye. pirate. <laughs> da 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 da. Mhm. Mm Yay! <laughs> the s'mores on the victory sign. That's cute. <laughs> Ooh, 250 gold. Neat. I'll take it. Victory. All the loot. Yes. Neat. Well done. Right, who we fight now? I have recruited a <gasps> mercenary for your party. Cookie. Aww. Ooh, we get this. Ooh. Drain eye. Check I her will out. take it. I do love me some Drenai. They have such gorgeous art for this game. But then again, really when is Blizzard art ever bad? <laughs> <laughs> Never. <laughs> That's fair. That's fair. I'll give you that. Yep. Hmm. Whether you like Blizzard games or not, can't deny their art for whatever it is is gorgeous. That it is. Ooh, okay. Hmm. Mercenaries can do two times damage against each other. Okay. Oh, so casters do better against protectors, protectors do better against fighters, fighters do better against casters. Okay. That's good to know. Um, so protectors are red, fighters are green, casters are blue. So casters do better against protectors, I don't have any of those, so we want to <laughs> right. He was certainly optimizing more than me. I'm just like, 
I don't I'm know. I'm sorry. <laughs> no, you're fine. I'm just like, I'm just, I'm just, just shoot the thing. I don't care. <laughs> That's me. I'm terrible. And then she oh, can Oh, she's do... she like a priest okay. or something? Yeah, I think so. Must be. Looks like one. I want her hair. I know. I'm like, thing in game. please. It's so gorgeous. I want super butt long hair like that. Oh gorgeous. God, yeah. Mm. Oh, yeah, that worked. Yay. Now I only have him. Die. Pretty. Beautiful. Job's done. Job's done. <laughs> <laughs> so cute. Yes. Got him. Da -da -da -da. Audi. Beautiful. Yay, more health than my face. Yay! 200 gold. Neat. Very cool. Mm -hmm. Alright, what do you got next here? <gasps> Ooh. And efficient. Got Ooh. one. Lucky for you, another mercenary wants to join your crew. Oh. <laughs> Grom! I got Gromash Hellscream? Yep. Cool! <laughs> He's got such a cute nose. I love him. See that gem oh, above yes. your target's head. <laughs> attention to it. Focusing it means you can expect more to be earned in, in the battle. fighting pit as well. Hmm. Okay. Good to know. Hmm. <clears throat> Only three mercenaries at one. Okay. All right. Uh, so only three mercenaries can be in combat at once. Remaining mercenaries will wait on the bench as reserves. And I see you're getting ahead of me. I've been letting the game talk to me because there's dialogue, so. I've been listening to the dialogue. Huh? You're just faster than me. Whoop. Oh, <laughs> okay. Sorry. It's okay. Oh, you're good. I'll have Taronda here. Young Taronda. Uh, I want to use Grom. Mm -hmm. Get in there, big boy. And my priestie can just hang out and wait for me. Okay. Oh, I didn't ready. attack. Whoops. Oh, yes, I did. I was just... That was ready for picking stuff. I gotcha! Ooh. Let's do that one. Uh, cast do, do better against Hector, so it doesn't really matter. Look at there. You can do that. Oh! He just destroyed Taronda. Sorry, Taronda. Okay. Whoopsies. That was probably on purpose. So they Ooh. Tell yeah. Yeah. Out. Replace my, defeated my mercenaries Toronto. with ones from your bench. Defeat mercenaries. Defeated mercenaries will not be able to fight for the rest of the map. All right. That's fine. Hey. Okay. What knowledge do the stars provide? All right. Well, now I have two tanks. Let's go. That's fine. Get out of here. Go, 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 go. Murder. Get rid of that guy with the cannon. <laughs> All right, he, he bad juju, apparently. I don't like him. No. There we go, got him. Around. Nice. Okay. Neat. There we go. Cool. Much bet. And Grom leveled up. Look at that, he's a big boy now. <gasps> don't grow up! New ability, taunt. Sweet. Nice. Cool. There is the target. Ooh. Get into position and eliminate them. Hogger. Let's do this. Ye that makes sense. <laughs> it does make sense. <laughs> okay. All right. Begin. <laughs> you just growl at me, that's cute. <laughs> I fight. Oh, so when they mean that you're one who dies can't fight for the rest of the board, they mean like the whole thing. Oh, Taronda's not wow, here. Okay. Okay. Yeah, she's not here on mine either. Alright. Well, that's good to know. <laughs> Uh, this guy's a boss. I should probably think about it. Uh, 
Let's go full hugs. That's what I'm about. <laughs> <laughs> it's probably gonna go terribly. Grom, you're so slow. Let's go. <laughs> I wish I had a heal. Yeah, no kidding. Let's get this guy off the map, and then we'll deal with Mogger. Get okay. out of here. Ooh. Ouch. Oh no, stop summoning dudes. This isn't going um, well. <laughs> oh no. No, don't summon dudes. No. Uh, there goes my priest. Come on. Um... I wish there was an attack you could do without hurting yourself. That'd be nice. Mm -hmm. Up, yep, there she goes. Okay. Well, Hogger's gone now. Okay, he's got one there guy left. Get okay. out of here. He didn't summon anyone for me, so... He did for me. He summoned an extra dude. Lame. Luckily, he doesn't have that much health. I think I can still pull it off, hopefully. By brute forcing it, usually works. Swing harder. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Nailed him. Barely, but did it. <laughs> Lost my priest in the process, but hey. But... Cool. There's that heal you were talking about. Sweet. Alright. Excellent. Alright, everybody getting some leveled up. Yep. Zarela's got the heal now. Neat. Alright. What's next? We did it. We got the boss. Yay! What's the loot? Ooh, boxes. Times 35 for her, whatever this means. I don't know what that means. Times 50 for her. Cool. I don't know what that means. <laughs> no idea. No idea. I think this life suits you. Alright, I'll wait for you. Neat. I lost two of my people and I got completely wrecked, but that's okay. <laughs> that's fine. I did it. Your quests. Neat. Bye. Sweet. Alright. Mercenaries welcome bundle. Get the get ahead of the curve and round out your mercenary roster with the addition of a random legendary mercy and mercenary and ten packs. Welcome home, cool. mercenary. It's not much, but with a little effort, this place will become the heart of your operation. You have enough materials to construct a new building. Do it now. Ooh, time to build. Work, work. Yes. Let's build a tavern. And that tavern looks like a keg. I appreciate that. That is adorable. In we go. Okay, we can look at Taronda here. Abilities with that mercenary's coins. Oh. Try it now. Oh, okay, so that's what the coins are for. Ah. Let's upgrade that. Yeah. Excellent. Preparation is um, often the difference between defeat and I victory. Want more damage for the AoE attack. That's what I did too. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Can I upgrade it again? Yeah, do I have more? No, it doesn't look like it. Oh. Yes, upgrade ability. Okay. Alright, so, okay. As you can see, there's no shortage of okay. work around here. You should build a task board to track what needs to get done. And avoid any future surprises. <laughs> Alright, build a campfire. Neat. Slap slap. Hammer hammer saw. Sudden the campfire. Cool. Oh yeah. Very good. Other mercenaries will ask for assistance with their own tasks. Take a look. Hmm. Task. Okay. Tutorial. Travel to the Barrens and complete the ferocious Quillbore bounty. My patience grows thin. Ah, uh, Grom. You were missed. Mm. Huh. Okay. Cool. 
You'll need transportation to your next okay. mission. Where's that mage? Wait, we have a mage? Who was the mage? Wait, is that what the Drenai is? I thought she was a priest. Her abilities were all gold and holy looking. Oh, yeah, and she's nope. An organic quadrupedal velocity oh. device. How do I click it's on it? Why isn't it not letting me? I asked for a portal. Click on the ability. Portals require time. Okay, well. Not to mention costly re It's Mana Storm. Tell That's who the mage is. It's settled. Mm. Get everything you need and Where's be on that your mage? way. Build. And take Mana Storm with yep. you. Yep. Perhaps a little ride on he his would pony be the mage. will refresh his knowledge of, course he of the would. arcane. Pony crony. Got Millhouse Mana Storm. Neat. We got a pony. Yay! Uh, sure. Neat. Alright. Okay. Start the ferocious quill bore bounty. I need to do something here? That one, I guess? Oh, yeah. Alright. Uh, yay! Millhouse Mana Storm. Yeah, that's fine. Oh, there it is! World of Warcraft mount. Sarge's Tale, a special reward for starting your first Maroon Bounty Mercenaries. So... Okay. So now, I'm going to do a thing. Because I don't actually care about doing this bounty, even though it does seem a little fun. Yeah. <laughs> Let's pull up WoW here. And go get that mount. Mm. Just said I got it now. <laughs> yep, there's the thing. Okay, um. We'll hop onto that. Hmm. Exit out of this. Easy peasy. There we go. Pick a random character. I'll be sure, why not? Speaking of mages. Mm -hmm. I didn't get anything that said I was good. It's making me do the thing. Well, you have to click on the, uh, you have to head to start a bounty. And then the thing will pop mm. up. How do I back out? Uh, just click off, I think. If you just click out of the, into the world looking screen. You got it? You see it? Did it tell you? Yeah. Yeah. Yep. You don't have to do the bounty. Just start it. Just start it and then... And then leave. It. Like, sorry, Grom. <laughs> I just want the yep. mount. I'll take the mount. Thanks. Oh, uh, let's see. Right. All right. Uh, my Back. Sources. There we go. And there it is. Sarge's tail. Aw, uh, it's a present. Unwrap. Neat. Cute. It's cute. Aw, uh, it's adorable like it. Today we're going over exactly how to get the Silver Wind Larian. This mount requires a treasure hunt of 50 individual crystals all over Bastion. Each one is small and very easy to miss, and some are rather tough to reach. We'll look at every single one, and since there's so many, I have numbered each one on this video's timeline along with its waypoint so that you can refer to it when you need to go back. I've also pasted the waypoints for you down in the description below. This will be very visual focused as I show you how I gathered each crystal in the hopes of helping you replicate it. Here we go! The first five crystals are actually in Bastion's two dungeons, Necrotic Wake and Spires of Ascension. Waypoints and pins don't seem to work in there, so pay close attention to where this is on the map. You'll find your first crystal next to a big broken bell in the southern platform of the dungeon. Simply clicking on them when you find them as you go along is exactly how you collect them. They won't be in your bag, but they will be counted. The second crystal in the dungeon will be found on the westmost platform on a northern ledge that sticks out from the map. It'll be behind a broken pillar and close to the edge. So jump carefully.
Those are the two crystals in this dungeon, so it's time to move on to the next one. The third, fourth, and fifth crystals will be found in the Spires of Ascension dungeon. The third one, which is the first one for this dungeon, will be behind a lounge chair after the first boss. This area is named the Gardens of Repose. Two of the three crystals in this dungeon are in this zone. The fourth crystal, which is the second one in Spires of Ascension, is at the middle eastern platform. It's on the ledge just behind the Kyrian who will take you up to the next area. Don't fall off! The fifth crystal and the final one in Spires of Ascension is on a little platform just next to the middle fountain in front of the mechanical boss. The mechanical boss being the big one, or if Firion, or however you say his name. This is going to be the same platform where the Kyrian will appear after that boss to take you up to the final encounter. Now we're out of the dungeons and all of the rest of the crystals will be found in the open world of the Bastion Zone. This means that waypoints are once again working, so you can now use the waypoint coordinates I'm showing you on screen. And as a reminder, the entire list for all 50 crystals is down in the description below. I highly recommend you grab a couple stacks of goblin gliders, because you're going to need them for a lot of these until flying becomes available. As this will be a visually focused guide with little commentary from me, I will now turn on the in-game sound I use during recording. Oh, there it is. Right here. Oh, it blends in. Well, look at that. That way. It has yep. to be around this way. Yep. That's not too bad, then. No. But it's past the, um, number eight. We have to get up there. Probably. But keep going for number seven, because that's the one I'm recording for. Okay. There's number nineteen, too. <laughs> It looked kind of small, so be careful when you jump down and stuff. Yeah. I had to. Well... Yeah, you're gonna want a glider or something. Did you miss? Aww. I did miss. So when you get down, be very careful. I just walked off. Because when you walk, Aww. you go to you straight down. Well, let me get back up there. <laughs> All right. If only you're a warlock. Try this. Nailed it. Mm, nice. I was gonna slide off the edge again. Nailed it! Oh! Nailed it! I'm genius! <laughs> Come, darling. Do just what I did. Probably don't even have to glider to it. No, but I'm gonna glider anyway, because I'm lazy. That's fair. I am. I had to get more gliders. That's okay. Easy enough. I can get these. Yeah. <laughs> you can. Woof! Nailed it. 
Why? Who is Stanikos? My biggest fan? I don't know who he is. Must be related to the thing. Come, darling. You can do it. Hello? Oh, yeah, I see it too. Mm, but how do we get to that? On the other side, probably. Probably. on a rock. It is. Give this a go. Oh, you got to it? Yep. Yeah, this one's easy to get to. We can just come down here. Target L on a site. Right there. Let's see if it puts you down. Well, go for it. You're the one. You're over here, too. You can try it, too, you know. Not just me. Yeah. Up this way. I did it that way. From my I spot. meant that way, but. Gotcha. Oh, I see it. Yep, it's in the cor it's in the very corner over there. Yep. There we go. Not my sight. Three. There. Found it. Found it. Oh. Yeah. Right there. Not oh, nice. Not a necessarily cute. inaccurate description, but it could have been better. <laughs> it could have been a lot better. Yeah. So we were close, we just we didn't go down far enough on the right side.
slide off the edge if you don't hit that <laughs> hit it. <laughs> we have merged. Oh. Oh, I see it. Yep. That is a very small edge. Did you poop? Is that angel poop? I hope not. Uh. Made it. Don't you swap me yet. Just wait. Swap you? Yeah, because I want to get it first. Just let me know. Just wait. Really, like, just run. <laughs> Try it. <laughs> That's actually brutal. <laughs> <laughs> you reach up over here. Yeah. Nice. Okay, well. Alright. Yep, found it. How cute. Yeah, I'll just... Nice. This seems quite dangerous. Isn't this quaint? Yes. There it is, I see it. Nice, that's easy to get to. Oh, sweet. <laughs> you just blast down next to me. <laughs> yeah, that's funny. <laughs> now you know I try. It's right there, look at that little beauty. Woo 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 woo. Look right here. Ooh, woo, 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 woo. Well, now we try to make it. Wahaha! Look at my toe skill. <laughs> it's a skill. All right. Nice. Okay, get so they know to go in the entrance for this one. This one said it's in the Hall of Beasts behind some barrels, so at the very back it looks like. Here. Now the barrels are over there. How pretty. I like that cloth. It's very pretty. Okay, it's here. There's that one. Got it. Yeah. 
Ah, oh, yeah, that's a clay one. Now, if they don't want to do that, they can. I think they can actually come around here and walk up this little itty bitty cliff. This side. Oh, yeah. Well, we did it the cool way, so. <laughs> we did do ah! it the cool way. I can't see it. I was like, where? where? Yeah. And cute. Very. The anime is really bright. It's a little hard to see. Oh, it's behind the bottle. Ledge above the memorial treasure. <laughs> oh, I see it. I do not. Ah. Beardimus. The Eternal Forge. I'm here, but I'm not entirely sure. Yeah. nestled in this corner. Perfect. <laughs> Don't jump. <laughs> yeah, I gotta time out for that. That horse likes to just frickin' rock it. It really does. There we go. Be right. There's a itty bitty ledge right over here. Perfect. Yeah. Easy peas. Easy. Nice. It's just chilling. It is. Nice. Tending we would break their glass, but whatever. 
<laughs> and kill the horse. And us. Oh, you jump. Nice. Ooh. Oh, this is solid too, so. Sweet. Okay, that's good. Did you get it? Yeah, I did. That's a big fish. Oh. Wait. Come, come start it over here, actually. You can, you can slip through here. Perfect. Hold on, he's going go over that stupid ledge. Peace, peace. Perfect. Do it. Uh oh. Glider, you got this. Just jump into glider immediately. Yes. Thank you. Did you record it? <laughs> yeah. Beautiful. Oh, perfect. It's oh, underneath it the um, skirt, yeah. Huh, that's neat. Hey, the narrator voice is back. Just wanted to let you know that 47, 48, 49, and 50 are all in really bad elite areas. So, unless you're with a bunch of friends, be prepared to die a few times. See it through the elite pedals. Thinking you could probably walk off? Still don't see it. I don't even know where to look. Okay, so stand right here and kind of move your camera a little bit. And you can see it between the pedals. Ah, there it is. Okay. Yeah, that's a bit janky. Well. I won't use your horse. Oh, run and jump and try? Your uh, yield skills? Oh, ah, damn! Shit. It did work, but I moved back. Don't do what I did. <laughs> okay, I got it. If okay, you good. die, I can res you up here. Because I'm you not right. in combat. So just die. I yeah. underestimated. Yeah. Oh, yep, we see it. There. Nice. Sweet. Cool. Alright. Okay. Yeah, here's the ledge. Okay. Like you like walked all the way up here. Be careful. The plant in the way. Yeah. I wouldn't get on your mount. No, I wasn't planning on it. It's stuck. The way up here. Really should. Well, that is our 50th. Mm. Yes. Mm. Now, with your 50th crystal found, you need to go speak to Forge Light Hephaestus near the Spires of Ascension dungeon entrance. He'll now give you the hammer you need to ring the Vesper. The hammer itself will be a physical item that he'll put in your bags, and unfortunately, you can't keep it. Now it's time to finally claim your prize after hours spent gathering. 
Go to the Vesper of the Silver Wind at 3526 and use that hammer. Ring a ding ding. Ring it. Rung it. Silver wind. Nice. I also got a pomegranate. Congratulations on your new mount. I hope this guide was helpful.